I have no interest in guilting anybody into doing a goddamn thing for me. All right, especially living when they don't want to live. That's the last motherfucking thing I put on my list of to-do things. Yeah, guilt somebody into living. Yeah, that's the goddamn last thing on the goddamn fucking list. So if somebody needs me to say, I promise I'll have only good thoughts about your life and about who you were, I'll say those words and I'll goddamn mean it. Because that's more of a tribute and that's more of a sincere relationship than this goddamn griefing bullshit. Okay, I'm not going to grieve because somebody else is in pain and they commit suicide. All right, that is something to goddamn motherfucking celebrate. Okay, they're fucking free from a sadistic idiotic goddamn game. How do you feel about that? Do you see yourself as connected with uh, with those people who care for you? Or, or is there suffering if you do decide to die of no consequence? Well, it's of no consequence because, you know why? Because obviously my suffering means nothing to them, right? If, if somebody is actually going to grieve because I killed myself, because I was miserable, and they find that unacceptable somehow. Somehow that's the wrong solution. The end of my pain is something to grieve. Okay, then I guess they're pretty fucking insensitive then, right? They wanted me to suffer some more. Put in a couple more decades, Jerry. Fuck you, all right? I've been, I've been working in this fucking trench long enough. I deserve a fucking vacation, a permanent vacation. And if anybody who doesn't understand that, fuck them is my opinion to them. That's what I say to them. I'm sorry you care for me because fuck you, you suck. If you can't see that, that I deserve respect, you can't see that. If you can't respect me and respect my decision, then fuck your love, fuck your consideration, fuck your friendship, fuck any part of you that's connected to me. Because if you can't see that that's who I fucking am, fuck you. You fuckers are arguing that life is just so fucking cool that we have to drag people along to play the game. I just would think if life was so great that the minimum standard would be that somebody could actually maintain an ability to pull up their hand and say, I want to live. I mean, if somebody can't say that, then why the fuck do you need to change them into something else? Why the fuck do you need to do that? It's fucking pitiful. You got nothing, and yet you're just, all you're basically saying is, no, we gotta get this guy re-addicted. We gotta get him back in the game. Why? Why?